hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's look i'm going to be showing you how i created this beautiful halo smoky eyes so just keep on watching all right so i'll be using palettes from covergirl for my makeup look today and this is true naked sunset and i'll be using those two colors to create my transition shade but before i do that i went in with the matte white uh, shade from this same palette and I'm just putting that underneath my brow I won't be using any gold shimmer today I'll be using a silver shimmer from another color so um, I'm just adding the white as a base right underneath my brow bone before I start my makeup application all right so for the uh, for the transition color I'm just blending those two colors together until it builds up to a shade that I like and I'm using swiping motions back and forth and also blending in circular motions to ensure that the edges are blended out properly and to ensure that we have a soft and smooth transition going into the other colors that I'll be using. All right, so today's color, the main um, colors that I'll be using will be coming from this True Naked uh, um, queen ship I think I think it was queen ship I'll link all of these in the description box down below so I'm going to be using these colors at the end so uh, my intention was to start off with the darkest color which would have been the gray and I'm blending that from the outer corner of my eyes towards the crease and going a little bit toward the center but I don't want it to be too focused on the center because I'm going to be using um, the silver in the center so I'm focusing the gray on the outer corner and also the inner corner of my eyes as well and I'm going to be blending that out until everything looks smooth. Alright, so I'm blending towards the crease of my eyes and I'm just ensuring that everything is blended out perfectly. Next, I'm going in with the blue and as you guys can see, there isn't much difference between the blue and the gray. I think because both of those shades are um, shimmery, so once I put once I apply the color everything just looks the same I'm not seeing any um, transition or any variation between the shades they just look the same to me but I'm still going to continue blending with those two colors to see how it turned out and I'm blending that up towards the brow bone so that it meets with the transition color now for the center of my eyes I am using this e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. It has a satin finish, satin, satin, however you want to pronounce it. I call it satin for now. So it has a nice satin finish and it is really hydrating. So I'm just using that in the center of my lids. I'm just creating a clear space so that the, the silver that I'll be using on the lids will really come through. I don't want the other darker colors to like just consume it totally so that's the reason for using a concealer in the center and I'm just packing that onto the lids as much as I possibly can to ensure that the, the, that shimmer really comes through and I'm going to be doing that to the other eye as well you can already see the difference that it starts to make and to ensure a smooth transition and to ensure that there are no harsh lines no harsh separation between the darker shade and the silver in the middle i'm just blending the corners out to ensure that everything melts into each other i don't want for it to look like you know i just wipe a paintbrush across my eyelid i want it to be blended and look like really flawless so blending is key in your makeup application especially eyeshadows so after much blending you're gonna see what it looks like all 
all right now once i have blended everything out i did realize that everything was just like monotonous i wasn't really seeing the difference that the darker shades made at the outer corners of my eyes so i did go back in with um a, a black matte from another palette that i had and i'm just applying that to the outer and inner corner of my eyes to give it that really smoky look and you guys can see the difference that it already starts to make now i'm just cleaning up the corner of my eyes i was going to be you i was going to use some concealer but i realized that it was a bit messy and i didn't want to have to add too many products to my face to cover the darkness so i changed my mind and i did use the skincare oil along with some cotton squares to clean up the corner of the eyes and to make everything just really clean and seamless for the next part of my makeup application now um, from the same queen ship palette i'm going back in with the silver that i added to the center and i'm just popping that into the tear duct and also in the inner part of my lower um, waterline i'm also popping some of that right underneath the brow bone i'm doing it really light because i don't want it to be too much the focus is going to be the halo on the eyelids i don't want to take away from that all right so now for the liner i'm using this epic liner it's an ink liner from nyx and i'm going to be making um this wing it's nothing dramatic nothing too big but i think that a wing liner would really look really nice with this makeup look i think this just polishes off everything and put the icing on the cake so with the wing liner along with some lashes this is going to look really beautiful i'm not making the lines too thick but at the same time i don't want it to be too thin so i'm using my judgment to make it just the right size and i'm just filling in the spaces once i outline the wing i'm just using the the liner to just fill in the black to ensure that everything is solid all right so this is what it looks like i think it looks really nice and i think it complements the halo look now I am on to the rest of my face. I'm priming today using this uh, primer by Face Studios from Maybelline New York. And I apply that all over my face and neck. And then I am going to be using this um, natural finish color stay makeup from Revlon. And you guys can see that it's already too light for my skin but i'm not going to start this process all over i'm already deep in so i'm going to continue to use the shade and i'll see what i end up with and this was in the shade natural tan it was lighter much lighter than my own complexion and i also realized that it wasn't um, a full coverage makeup as well so after blending that out i had to go back in with some more because it was looking a bit patchy so i added a little bit more and i continued blending and i'm going to show you what it finally looks like once i was finished um, blending everything out and that's how it looks. you can clearly see the difference between my face and my neck but like i said i wasn't about to rub this thing and start rub it off and start all over again so i will be fixing that using um a concealer and um i think this is also from maybelline new york um and this is in the shade uh coco i think i'll be le leaving these items in the description bar down below so you can check it out to see the names of all the items that i use in this video so i'm just going to be contouring with this shade and i'm going to be blending to see if i can actually get the complexion to look more natural like my own complexion so i'm blending and i'm buffing um buffing the color out as well so i'm blending pushing it into my skin and then i'm just buffing the edges out so that it has a flawless finish now remember guys if you have not subscribed to my channel as yet please go ahead and subscribe down below 
don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also leave your comment in the comment section down below also remember to share this video with a friend all right so once i have everything um bl blended out i'm just going back in using this pro conceal from la girl it's in the shade creamy beige and i'm just going to be using that for highlight in the t-zone of my face and i'm blending everything out for a seamless um, transition this is actually going to add a little bit of light to the inner corner of my eyes and then i use the opposite side of the blending sponge just to buff the edges out so that there's no harsh lines all right next i'm going in with the coty air spun loose finishing powder and i'm going to be setting underneath my eyes and all the other areas that i did add the concealer to i'm going to be setting those areas using the powder as well so i started off with underneath the eyes those areas tend to crease first so i'm setting those first and then i'm just going to be dusting the rest of my face lightly with the powder using a larger brush and this is also going to buff out any other areas that i had that was not properly blended out to ensure that everything looks seamless now um, I am going back in with some of the loose the loose powder just to set the jawline I'm going to be baking a little bit while I finish up the rest of my eye application and add some false lash off camera as well and then I'm brushing that away and then go back in with a big brush just to buff everything out like I said when in doubt blend it out so you just want to ensure that you blend 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 so that there are no harsh lines left on your face and you guys can see how beautiful that looks the contour is coming through highlight is coming through and the eyelids are beautiful and to finish this look off i'm using this baby lip um, lip balm from maybelline new york and then i'm going in with this liquid 24 hour lip gloss to finish off the lips And it's actually a matte lipstick so that's the reason I use the lip balm before I added this because I don't want my lips to be too dry and I don't want the lipstick to look cracky when I'm finished now because it's also matte once it dries you cannot remove it so you have to be careful with the application as well to ensure that you don't mess up other areas that you don't want that color to be all right and uh, once i'm finished with my lipstick i'm going to set everything together using this setting spray from maybelline new york it's the last in fix and allow that to, to dry and there you go that's the final look guys um i hope you guys like this look um don't forget to subscribe before you leave remember to give this video a big thumbs up and remember to share and comment as well Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.